Hello and welcome to Exam AZ 900, Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is episode 51, Azure China Cloud Services, and my name is Tim Warner. Today's skill in the AZ 900, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Objective Domain, starts in Describe Security, Privacy, Compliance, and Trust, passes through Describe Privacy, Compliance, and Data Protection Standards in Azure, and our granular skill is Describe Azure China Cloud Services. Go to timw.info forward slash az900sg for an interactive table of contents of the study guide. Let's proceed. If you watched the previous episode of this series where we covered Azure Government, you know that in addition to the Azure Public Cloud, or the Commercial Cloud as it's sometimes called, Microsoft created a separate collection of regions, data centers, and basically a separate version of Azure for Azure government use. Well, Microsoft has done the same thing for other sovereign states slash countries, specifically Azure China is a sovereign cloud that supports data residency and compliance requirements for Chinese businesses and China government itself. Microsoft doesn't operate the Azure China cloud itself. Instead, they've partnered with a Chinese internet service provider called 21 Vianet. You can see a screenshot on the right side of this slide from the Azure.com website that's centering in China, and you can see there's some dedicated China regions. China East and East 2, China North and North 2 specifically. In order to deploy to Azure China, your business needs to be a legal entity in China, and there's a separate set of requirements and compliance check marks that you need to do in order to perform those deployments. Learning resources, number one, you can find the Azure China documentation in the Microsoft Docs by going to timw.info forward slash chi1. If you want an Azure region scope heat map, you can go to timw.info forward slash chi2. And what that short URL takes you to is azurecharts.com. Again, in the previous lesson during that demo, I went out to azurecharts.com and showed you where you can compare the Azure product offerings in one region slash cloud and compare them to another. So for example, you can compare what's available in the commercial cloud with what's available in Azure China and vice versa. Thanks a lot for joining me in this lesson, as always. Our next episode is on industry compliance terms as they relate to Microsoft Azure. You can find me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. All of my Pluralsight courses can be found at timw.info forward slash ps, and my website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next lesson.